Jack, it's been a long week, it's been a gruelling week, but I'd imagine it's a satisfying week now that you've got that trophy, English Men's Amateur Champion. Absolutely thrilled to hear that, yeah. It's been an absolutely well, gruelling week, as you said, and very thankful it's over, and especially with this outcome, really, really proud of myself. And you must be proud of the way you played today, especially the morning. Yeah, the you... morning was definitely very, very good. I think I was 7 under in bogey 3, which out there is no mean feat, and on this afternoon, I still to keep my sort of wits about myself because Carl is an exceptional goal for it. and um, he did sort of take me down the um, sort of last four or five holes. So yeah, again a very good game and a good scoring as well. It did look nervous though. You didn't look as if you were flustered at any point. You were in control of your game the whole way around. <laughs> I'm glad it looked like that. I definitely didn't feel like that towards the last sort of five six holes. But I mean, I felt like my attitude was the main thing this week. I mean, I just try to remain positive and. Um, Sort of not let things get me down because I mean, there's so many holes going on, and especially I'm in a 36 hole final. I mean, one up, one down, sort of through the first six isn't going to make a big difference, but I just thought I'd sort of plug away and sort of keep going and going and sort of keep hitting good goal shots because I mean, eventually holes are going to run out for Carl, which sort of, I guess, unfortunately, him they did. There's some famous names in that trophy Sir Nick Faldo, Tommy Fleetwood, Paul Casey, Danny Willett, some of the, the biggest names in, in, in English golf. Have, held that job. Yeah. How does that feel? Fantastic. I mean, very, very honoured to be alongside those names on that trophy. Very honoured. And what do you think this means for your career now going forward? Well, over the last two years it have been exceptionally tough for me and my family on and off the golf course. And um, I'd like to thank sort of my parents, my golf coach Russell Covey, all support from the Gloucester Golf Union. And um, I think hopefully this is a big leap in the right direction. So hopefully some better things to come as well. Did you ever doubt yourself at that point? Were you always 100% sure that, that you had this kind of form in you? I've always known I've got this ability, but then it's a different thing producing it when it counts. That's, a, but that's the issue, I guess. But I mean, I said I played the West of England four ball at Kenshire on the Saturday Sunday before the practice rounds. And someone asked me how my form was. And I said, well, I feel I'm due a big win the way I'm playing. So I a bit weighed about the lap and sort of finished second in the stroke play and then win the match play. Really happy. An award just for Callum Barrow, who you played in the final today. And Callum was round in two under this morning and found himself five down at the, yeah, at, at the halfway stage. But he, he played terrifically well. Cal's a great guy and a great golfer. I mean, I'm very partly with Cal. And, I mean, unfortunately, him, that's just the way it goes. I just played exceptional this morning. But um, again, a fantastic game. And I'm sure you saw he was in good spirit as well, which made a big difference throughout the day. Brilliant, Jack. Many congratulations. Thank you English very much. men's amateur champion, Jack Cope. <laughs> Thank you.